Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, and in today's video, I honestly wanted to talk about my background on cash stuffing, why I started, how I do my method, and how it is effective and helps me. And before I even get into that, I wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Um, I posted a video, and I'll link it down below, of myself being a single mom saving ten thousand dollars next year and that video just got so much attention so much enga engagement so many followers i've been on youtube for almost 11 12 years and that has never happened before so i'm just ecstatic i'm overwhelmed i'm so happy and it's just honestly it's just a great feeling um to build a community on something that is like-minded like other people but also very helpful so if you guys are new, definitely say hi down below and I would love to chat with you. If you guys have a channel or if you guys need any insight, definitely let me know down below because most of the women that did comment say that they are budgeting. So let me know down below if you guys have a channel and I would love to check you guys out. So in this video, I honestly just wanted to talk about my experience with cash stuffing. It has only been a few months. I started the beginning or the end of September. Um, I was on YouTube surf, surfing as usual and I found a woman that was doing it and I was just so into it. And at the time I was really trying to get back into financial literacy, financial freedom, and I just went for it. And I have been loving it ever since. Um, I do use three binders, as you guys can see here, as well as I do make a list. Now, this is just um, a pre-list that I just made, but when doing budgeting, um, and like I said, I am a beginner at this, but I am one that likes sections. And this is what works for me. Of course, you're going to want to do what works best for you. So if you feel like you need 10 binders, go for it. If you feel like you need more than what is on this list, go for it. But like I said, this is what works for me. And like I said, I'm a single person with a single budget, just trying to do things that really are important for me. Um, and that works well for me. So I will say this, one thing that works well for me is having my checking account be my buffer. And with that being said, I don't leave much money in my checking account at all because I know I'm going to spend it. So it is a hassle, but I tend to throw everything out of my checking account. And when doing so, if I do need something, um, it's either gonna be in cash or I literally have to go back to the bank. So. I'm really trying to make it a hassle for me to spend my money so that I can save it as much as possible. Um, another thing that has worked for me is living within my means. Let's just talk about subscriptions for a second. I canceled about 90% of my subscriptions because honestly, that's what's working for me in my budget right now. I literally just have Amazon Prime and my gym membership. I think I had like Hulu, I had um, Audible, I had, what else did I cancel? Just a whole bunch of memberships. I'm or, I'm sure y'all know more than me off of my head, but that was something um, with cash stuffing and with just my budget, I feel like too much. Like stuff was just pulling from every which way and I didn't really have a grasp on it and I also didn't have the few bucks for it because when you add your subscriptions up all together, you guys should do it. It's like over $100 a month. So um, definitely wanted to get rid of that bill. And then um, what's been working for me is separating them. So as you guys can see on this list, and if you guys wanna see me break down my budget, I can actually do that as well. Like I said, this is just a rough draft. There's no numbers on here or what I usually do or my method to budgeting. But if you guys want a separate budgeting video, definitely let me know. So what I do is I have a bill section where these are priority. Like there's no way I'm going to um, put anything less than what I'm supposed to. These have a designated number and these need to be paid. 
But going into non-priority, you know, takeout, home decor, electronics, um, getting my nails done, self-care, shopping, travel. These things are not priority. They are stuff that I want to save for, but it's not necessarily something that I need. It's just a want. So sometimes my non-priority will be a dollar getting stuff. Sometimes five dollars, sometimes more, but it's not something that I need. And then I bring it down to the savings category. Now with the savings, I know most people just have their primary personal savings. And I've had that before and that worked for me. However, it's just so nice knowing that you have your personal pocket, but then you also have your birthday pocket. So now you don't have to go into your big personal, you can just go into your birthday pocket or your Christmas pocket or your kids, well, you're, you know, you already know your kids should have their own savings account, but if that makes sense, I like to break it down into pockets. And then the new fun thing that honestly I found out with having a YouTube channel, or not YouTube, but cash stuffing and watching cash stuffing was savings challenges. With the savings challenges, I can show you guys my savings challenge binder. It just makes it so much fun to save. And I say this all the time because naturally this money is money that's going to go into your personal or your Christmas or anything like that. So quickly, if you guys are new to cash stuffing or have never cashed stuff before, there are so many women on here that have saving challenges, whether they're freebies, they're on their Kofi. Kofi, I believe it's called, their website, their Instagram, their Etsy, whatever. And what you do, it's just fun ways to save. For example, I bought all of mine off Amazon and this is $1,000 savings challenge. So it's just fun to put your money in pockets each week or bi-weekly when you get paid or honestly when you can to save money. So I have a 1,000 one, I have a 702, I have a 52 weeks, I have a 30 week, and then I have some that are more realistic for my lower budget, which is a $30 one, a $50 one, a $150 one, and then we have a $300 one. And like I said, with these saving challenges, it just makes it a lot more fun to save your money, whether you're rolling a dice, or doing a randomizer. It's just so many different ways that you can play your challenges, which I also love because it's your money, your way, and your decision. So that is what my saving challenges is, and I just really, really like it. So when it comes to the binders, like I said, I bought all of my stuff off Amazon, and what I just do is put compartments to my bills, my non-priority, and my savings. So for example, this is rent and I stuff this when I get paid and then this isn't necessary but what I like to do is write down when I stuffed it whether it's extra or it's the regular stuffing when I take it to the bank and it just helps me know what's actually in here. So like I said, I do have a few and I can run down what's important to me. So I have rent, I have household, I have daycare, I have debt, car, I think, is this one car? Okay, car, miscellaneous, and to the bank. So this is my bills binder and that is what helps me so that I'm not, I know where everything is. Everything has its own folder. Now, cash stuffing isn't for everyone and you know everything isn't for everyone. So yes, it can be very tedious. It can be very, you know, days on at a time because you have to make your list. You have to adjust it a few times because what I do is I can show you guys. I write it in pencil first and then I go back and I finalize it and then I have to get the cash and I have to get the denominations and all that stuff. So yes, it is tedious. However, it's also effective. So I can show you guys one of mine. And like I said, my brain is really hectic and this is what I do for me. Um, it starts off neat and cute, but then it just gets really, really hectic. Like I said, I do get paid um, weekly. And what I do is, I mean, uh, I tried to, I started off with check marks and then I didn't like how it looked because I don't know, it wasn't big enough for my eyes. So I just started crossing it off and that is what works for me. 
as you guys see um if something doesn't work out like a transfer or something needs to wait until a different deposit or if i owe myself because i'm making change and i don't want to go to the bank or what needs to go back to the bank or how am i breaking down my withdrawal keeping the bank like it's a lot going on but like i said that is what honestly works for me and then i like i said i start off with the 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 draft <laughs> and then as time goes it gets it gets a little hectic it definitely gets a little hectic but um this is what works for me and i have been able to save so much money because of it and like i said if you want to start off with just doing maybe you want to travel or maybe it's just for christmas or maybe just an emergency you don't have to start with all of the categories but I do think it's an effective way to really look at your bills and know what's going on and what you actually need. And it's a better way for myself to really budget and have a more control of everything. So this has really been working for me. And I'll say it again. It is very tedious. However, it's very rewarding. And it makes it really fun because with the saving challenges with the youtube community or just you know decking out your binders and um finding some cute things and all that stuff that is really fun too that i've noticed and everyone doesn't need to record and jump on a camera and do their journey however even when you're doing it behind closed doors because i don't record everything that i do when it comes to my binders however it's definitely something that i do enjoy and it's been helping me and it's effective so if you guys are cash stuffing or if you guys have any questions or comments definitely let me know down below if you guys use any of my methods i would love to know as well or if you don't let me know what you guys do down below i would love to hear from you and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys